So what is DevOps and how does Elm's Learning Network use it? And why should you care even if you're not a developer? Well, DevOps is a basic principle that we kind of follow patterns and we write code in a way that I can knowingly get information from here to here uh, successfully. So, for example, if I needed to uh, go to a folder, that command is cd and then whatever the name of the folder is. If I had to run that in multiple places, but it produced a different result, that could be problematic. So what DevOps is, is it's a focus on writing well-formed code that when it runs in this place the, from an operation side, it produces the exact same thing over on this environment. So the, that's what the, the development operations is what DevOps stands for because as a programmer, I can write a whole bunch of code and I can copy and paste that code from this system to this system to this system to this system. And that's fine. The code shows up there. Not a big deal. But what is beyond the code is things like uh, version control. So version control makes sure that you as a developer can work with a bunch of people. Code shows up everywhere and it's the same thing. Well, getting that code from here where I just hit save over to all these places, that's not code that's the process of getting it there it's the operation and so that's what also needs captured so that i can streamline getting the exact same command to run there because it's not just the code it's git 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 right so everywhere this is i need to follow the exact same pattern to come to the same solution it would be like uh, i can make bricks all the same size right and we build a, a pyramid here it's ensuring that I tell you directions in those such a way that you don't then build your pyramid off center right because if I just said hey go build a triangle well that's fine but you might build a triangle differently out of the same building blocks right so if the building blocks are code in this case you can think of the triangle as kind of the, the specification by which this triangle is made, whether it's a right or isosceles or what have you, uh, as being kind of more of the operations, right? So they're not the same thing. They're similar, and you can produce similar results. And that's what we're trying to avoid in, uh, in DevOps, is we're trying to exactly mirror what's going on in one place in another place. Because otherwise, you get just a little bit out of sync. And it's that few percentage points that you're off that uh, later on goofs things up uh, from a from a programmer and developer side that's why it's very important when you're testing code usually people have a dev and they have something called staging and then they have production which is what most people see out in the open but this is why it's very important that these environments are exactly the same because those little tiny changes that can creep in can cause huge problems once you get all the way up here because you replicate it this way and you test the code but not the operations under which the code has to function so why does this matter in elms ln well for one let's say we have an address and that address is online dot you know your university it's kind of the pattern that we follow and so then you've probably seen me draw these little goofy pictures before Right, where we've got everything stemming out from there. And that's cool. We'll say that this one out in red is course. Right, so we've got courses. Uh, yellow here, we've got studio. And in the case of the blue one, we'll say that's media. Right, so we've got four different tool sets all working together. Uh, it's kind of Elm's thing is networked based communications. So developer operations become critical to this because we need to guarantee that this running at, uh, for example, Penn State, and this running at, for example, Wisconsin, uh, these are not singular instances, right? So there is um, a group there uh, that actually has two instances and the law school instance, which is being worked on right now, 
right? So there are three instances out here. At Penn State, uh, there's currently two being requested, one being built, uh, two in production, and one in staging. So we're talking seven environments or so soon here. So we're talking 10 plus whatever stray ones I have. We'll say there's about 10 currently. I need to guarantee that that is the same everywhere uh, because otherwise I need to scale people and we're not going to be scaling people in the same way in this project. Uh, I feel you should be able to use this by saying you want to use it and it should not be impactful to my time to manage one Elms Learning Network or thousands, right? That's a, a goal I have for the project. So using developer DevOps, and again, you know, using that pattern, right? We're following pattern-based design. Everything is networked to each other. There's nothing saying that we don't actually end up having this type of a network pattern. And so I don't have a better visual for describing it at the moment, but if you imagine that you've got an Elms Learning Network deployment. And this is kind of where your front-facing presence is, right? People come in through here. Uh, let's use a pen that's not so bright. And we'll say this is your online one, right? But instead of talking about Elms LN as a whole, we're talking about one deployment of Elms LN. Everything uses network-based communications and RESTful APIs to talk to each other. And so it no longer matters how many systems in Elms LN run at this address and how many run at this other address that's maybe powering courses and this other address that's powering studio, All right? So this is, again, following the fractal design pattern inherent in the system. It doesn't matter because I'm, I'm scaling, you know, it, there's uh, zero cost to scaling in this, in this direction, right? I wanna be able to manage thousands of these, hundreds of thousands. It shouldn't matter. If it runs one place, it should run all of them. And so because that principle is true, I can then reliably push the code to each of these three locations. They talk to each other via web services, right? So they don't care. They're already acting like they're not in the same place. So that's why it's important to kind of needlessly complicate that part at the moment because they will shift off to other other systems. Uh, again, because they don't care where they are, your studio might actually be in a pri um, more of a private on-campus right, type of environment because that involves student work, that's student submissions. But your, your course content, which is mostly static resources, um, and maybe, maybe media lives on here too, right? Maybe this is out in the cloud. This is on a cloud provider. If I could spell cloud, it would help. Um, and that your CIS online site, maybe that also lives on campus, but that lives in a different hosting cluster, right? You know, you could even firewall this behind a VPN of some kind if you were really that concerned about that piece um, while still having RESTful communications get data out to everyone else successfully. And so, as I mentioned, DevOps, that's why de developer operations are important because we're trying to get to a point that I don't care not only, you know, is this, oh, hey, this type of scale, we're talking about whole networks in networks that we are able to manage. And so this doesn't total up to one, two, three, four, five, six, right? We're not, we're not going to do math that way. It's just going to be, we're upgrading. And so we already have uh, scripts in place. It's called Elms Grove that's able to go and automatically upgrade all of these. Uh, we do our testing in Travis CI, which is running the same installation routines that we use to build the systems in the first place. And so by doing this, it doesn't, we don't need additional people to make this happen. If we have a server and we have the ability to execute commands against it, we will get you the network because it's not going to scale the people involved. Where it starts to scale the people involved is whenever th there are issues, you start to have additional staffing because you wanna go different directions with things. I don't want my CIS to be blue, I want it to be green. I want it, my course content to be gray, but I want my media to be delivered this way via Vimeo, right? We allow for remixing lots and lots of options, but yet the underlying code base is all the same 
that you're building on top of this ecosystem and the developer operations is dictating that it all gets upgraded the same way.